Hey there, Groovy Peeps, and welcome to another new movie review. Today, we are talking about The Witch Files. Really quick though, before I get into anything else, I wanna say thank you to my creepy patron peeps for your support of my channel. Thank you guys so much. If you wanna find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep, you can follow that link in the description. All right, so directed by Kyle Rankin, The Witch Files follows a group of high school girls who form a coven and realize together they have incredible powers. The girls start to make their desires come true, but they soon find out that every spell has its price. All right, so jumping right into what I liked about the movie, um, obviously I liked the witchy theme of this movie. Um, <laughs> I feel like the witch is kind of having a moment right now, especially with the Me Too movement and just female empowerment in general. The witch has become a symbol for female empowerment um, in horror cinema recently. Um, <laughs> sorry if I talk about it a lot. I am kind of writing a thesis paper on this topic. So <laughs> um, you can say I'm interested in it. I really liked that aspect of the movie. Um, I'm always, you know, if there's a new witch horror movie coming out, I'm all over it. I also really liked the character Jules in the movie who is more or less the leader of the coven. He's the one who is pretty much already a witch when the movie starts and she kind of does a spell and to get all the girls out of detention and that's how they become a coven you know the girls the other girls want to find out more and all this um so i really liked her character in that way and she kind of becomes the spokesperson for like the spiritual side of the craft like so she actually wields power obviously like doing stuff like shooting fire from her hands and things like that she also <laughs> kind of puts to rest a lot of the stereotypes um that the other girls bring up like how they think like witch and Satanist are synonymous or something like that. So I liked her character because of that. Other than that though, <laughs> other than those two things, this movie was hugely disappointing. I didn't mention at the beginning, but this movie is a found footage horror movie, um, which I already have a rocky relationship with. Like, and the biggest problem of the movie, when especially when you're making a found footage horror movie, is why they continue to film. You have to have a valid reason for the person operating the camera to continue doing so when shit hits the fan because normal people would stop filming and you know, everybody knows this. But this movie doesn't even attempt to give a reason as to why uh, the character Claire is still filming. Not only that, but it's like a kind of big, like professional camera. So like the whole movie starts off with Claire filming for her school news show or whatever. And she's filming about detention. Like does detention really work? She's like interviewing the other four girls who are in detention and that's how this kind of happens. And she just carries it around with her the rest of the movie. Um, and not only that, but she carries it to like class and stuff and legitimately like films class and like none of her teachers say anything. Like, <laughs> Of course, there are also very conveniently placed security cameras on the ceiling, like right up in the corner of every public space that these girls are in. Maybe the beginning parts of the movie were okay with the found footage, like that was fine, but I feel like the rest should have been in third person point of view. Um, I think, was it Chronicle was the movie that did that? I don't, I'm trying to remember. I can't remember if that movie was entirely in found footage or it was mixed where it was like it would cut to third person POV and then when they were filming stuff it would be found footage. I would have been okay with that. Whole thing in found footage, this movie, like, I feel like it hindered what could have been like an okay story. The dialogue also sucked ass. It was awful. Some of the actors could handle it at least and you know, it seemed like they, you know, did what they could with it. There was also some tr like truly awful ADR that you know, where I felt like, it just felt like there was no attempt to make it realistic. There's like 
So there's one part like one of the girls, her sister has a stutter which she fixes with a spell. So when she's talking normally, it's very clearly dubbed over and you can tell. The whole thing with like distance too, there's a moment where one of the girls gets knocked out with something and the camera's on the ground and you see her lying down like she's just got hit in the face with something. And then when she talks, it sounds like she's right next to the camera. Like it doesn't sound muffled at all. Her back is to the camera. She just got hit. She doesn't sound hurt. She sounds normal. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's just no attempt to make it realistic. So it is happening. Yep. Right on. Is this or Netflix? And remember where there's this, you know, news floating around that there were like the craft might be getting like a modern remake. I don't know if that's still a thing, but I feel like this movie, it felt like it was supposed to be it. The plot borrows heavily from the craft, but it's like kind of spliced with like Mean Girls and The Covenant, which wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, but it just borrowed so heavily from the craft that it was predictable. It got to the twist that one of the girls, I won't say who, it's a little too power hungry and starts affecting the rest of the group and then you know our main character has got to stop her with her powers i rolled my eyes so hard and i'm pretty sure nancy downs was rolling her eyes as well like hello been there done that overall how i would describe the movie would be disappointing want more witchy cinema for sure more witch movies please especially ones that actually pull from like real life wiccan pagan practices and things like that and are more rooted in reality that would be cool um but not this i know that horror directors and writers do not watch my videos and that's fine on the off chance that any of them do i would implore you please 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 do not make found footage horror movies unless you have a reason to like don't make your movie a found footage movie unless there is a very good reason to do so like i feel like there are sometimes like with this movie like it's more a gimmick than anything like it it actually like it doesn't really serve a purpose in the movie other than to be a gimmick you know so was the witch files worth it <laughs> no if you want to watch something like this just go watch the craft like <laughs> it's way better and you're gonna get the same same themes out of it as you would in this movie. I'm gonna give this a 0.5 out of 5. On IMDb it has a 3.9 out of 10. On Rotten Tomatoes it doesn't have a critic score but audiences give it a 50% and on Letterboxd it has a 2.8 out of 5. I, I watched The Witch Files on Amazon. If you do want to check it out for yourself that's totally fine. Um, the link in the description is an affiliate link though just for transparency so you know. Um, there's no pressure to use the link but if you do it does uh, help out the channel a little bit. If you've already seen The Witch Files please let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about it. Of course I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here and become a creepy peep today. I post videos Monday through Friday and you can ring that notification bell down there to be notified every time I post a video or go live even though it doesn't always work. Thank you so much for watching and until next time stay strange. Bye!